In this video, we talk about VLAN and VLAN chunking configuration and verification. Let's get started with creating VLAN. In order to create a new VLAN at the switch configuration mode, you issue the command VLAN and then you specify the VLAN ID with the range from 1 to 4094, then hit enter. You can specify multiple VLAN ID by separating them with a comma. Let's do it in Cisco Skills ASW1. Here we are at the configuration mode and we issue the command VLAN 10 and 20. That is, we have just created the VLAN 10 and 20. You can set the name for a VLAN. The name is just like the description for the VLAN. In order to set the name for a VLAN at the configuration mode, we issue the command VLAN and then we specify the VLAN ID, then hit enter. It will bring us into the VLAN configuration mode. Here we can set the name by issuing the command name and then we provide the name of the VLAN then hit enter. Let's do it in Cisco Skills ASW1. Here we are at the configuration mode. We issue the command VLAN 10 and then we provide the name building 10 and then hit enter. That is we have just set the name for VLAN 10 to become building 10. This is for us to recognize the VLAN 10 is set for the building 10. Before going into the next configuration task, let's talk about switch port mode. You can specify the mode for a switch port as the access port. When you make a port become the access port, it basically make the port declares that I do not want to become a chunk. Let's connect me to a PC or a network device. Or you can specify the mode for a switch port as a chunk port. When you make it a chunk port, basically it makes the port declares that I want to become a chunk. Let's connect me to another switch. To make it less aggressive, you can choose to configure a switch port to allow it to negotiate by setting its mode to either dynamic desirable or dynamic auto. When you set a switch port to dynamic desirable, if it hear any negotiation message from the neighbor device, it will respond back to the negotiation message and become a chunk port. Moreover, it can actively send a negotiation message to the neighbor device and if it hear anything back to its negotiation message from the neighbor device, it will become a chunk port. Other than that, it will become the access port. If you set the mode for a switch port as dynamic auto, it only listen for negotiation messages from the neighbor device. If it hear any negotiation message sent from the neighbor device, it will respond back to the negotiation message and become a chunk port. Other than that, it will become the access port. This table will show you which mode will be selected. For example, if you configure the port E01 on Cisco Skills 1 switch, as chunk mode and you configure the port E02 on Cisco Skills 2 as access mode then you will get an error. In order to make it form a chunk then you have to configure the port E02 on Cisco Skills 2 switch as either chunk mode or dynamic desirable mode or dynamic auto mode then it will form a chunk. 
let's assign a switch port to a VLAN. In order to assign a switch port to a VLAN at the configuration mode, you issue the command interface, then you provide the name of the interface, then hit enter. It will bring you to the interface configuration mode. And as you may know, when you assign a switch port to a VLAN, that port must be the access port. In order to set it as the access port, you issue the command switch port mode access, then hit enter. Now, in order to assign the port to a VLAN, you issue the command switch port access VLAN and then you specify the VLAN ID, then hit enter. If the VLAN doesn't exist, then you will see this message. The VLAN does not exist and it will automatically create that VLAN. Let's do it in Cisco Skill ASW1. Here we are at the configuration mode. Let's issue the command interface E30, then hit enter. Now to set it the access port, we issue the command switch port mode access, then hit enter. Let's assign it to VLAN 30 by issuing the command switch port access VLAN 30, then hit enter. As you can see, because the VLAN 30 does not exist, then it displays the message access VLAN does not exist, creating VLAN 30. So it will create the VLAN 30 for us. To verify the VLAN configuration of a specific VLAN at the switch privilege mode, we issue the command show VLAN ID, then we provide the ID of the VLAN, then hit enter. To verify the configuration for all the VLANs, we can use the command show VLAN, then hit enter. Let's do it in Cisco Skills ASW1. As you can see, we are at the privilege mode. Let's issue the command show VLAN ID 10, then hit enter. As you can see, this command shows us only the configuration of VLAN 10 and it has the name building 10. The current status is active and there are three ports assigned to it. Let's verify the configuration of all VLANs by using the command show VLAN and hit enter. As you can see, the command show it with all the VLANs in this switch and here are the names for this VLAN and here are the status for each VLAN and currently these are the ports assigned to VLAN 1 and these are the ports assigned to VLAN 10 and this port is assigned to VLAN 20 and this port is assigned to VLAN 30. To force a port become a chunk port at the switch configuration mode, we issue the command interface and then we provide the name of the interface that we want to force this as a chunk port and then hit enter. In order to force a port as a chunk port, we first need to configure the encapsulation. In order to do that, we need to issue the command switch port chunk encapsulation and we choose the encapsulation type is dot one q then hit enter now in order to force a port as a chunk port we need to issue the command switch port mode chunk then hit enter let's do it in cisco skills asw1 as you can see we are at the switch configuration mode let's issue the command interface e01 then hit enter now we need to configure the encapsulation let's issue the command switch port chunk encapsulation then we put in a question mark to see the encapsulation type as you can see there are three types that we can configure 
let's choose the dot one q then hit enter now we can force the port as a chunk port by using the command switch port mode chunk then hit enter that's it we have just forced the port e01 on cisco's qas w1 as a chunk port let's configure a port to make it negotiate to become a chunk port or access port in order to do that we need to go to the switch configuration mode and issue the command interface and then we provide the name of the interface that we want to make it negotiate then hit enter it will bring us into the interface configuration mode then we need to issue the command switch port mode dynamic dynamic here is to make it negotiate and then we can choose the negotiation mode as either desirable or auto then hit enter let's do it in cisco skills as w2 as you can see we are at the switch configuration mode let's issue the command interface e02 then hit enter now we need to issue the command switch port mode and then we put in a question marks and here are the list of the most that we can configure for the port and in this case we're gonna choose the dynamic mode to let this negotiate and then we put in a question marks and here are the list of the negotiation mode that we can configure and in this case we choose auto that's it. We have just configured the port E02 on Cisco Skills ASW2 with the dynamic auto mode. To verify a switch port configuration at the switch privilege mode, we issue the command show interface, then we provide the name of the interface with the keyword switch port, then we hit enter let's do it in cisco skills asw2 as you can see we are at the privilege mode let's issue the command show interface e02 switch port then we hit enter as you can see the port name is e02 and the switch port is enable and the mode that we configure on the port is dynamic auto however it currently operating at the chunk mode using the encapsulation dot one q and we can find out the native vlan for this chunk is vlan one and finally we can find that the chunking VLANs interval for all VLANs from 2 to 1001. That's it. That's what we can verify on a switch port configuration.